And you'll take the ball just right over your legs here. And you're gonna hold the sides of it. And just start to curl down with the low back. So try to avoid these shoulders from hiking. You're just really making space in the back and then coming back up with ease and just kind of release. And then again, you'll press the ball and curl that low back. Maybe you get a little bit of upper back stretch and pressing the chest forward to come up. Three more like that. Rounding is pretty subtle. And then getting that stretch, finding the abdominals, and then take the lift. Maybe your ball can go slightly down your, your legs, and then again curl. Finding the space, rounding it up. Last one there. You'll start to bring the ball right between the knees and thighs. Grab behind the legs, slightly separate. Go the rest of the way down to where your arms are straight. Pull into your low stomach. Bend your elbows to the side to come back up. And you'll keep that rounded spine coming down. Finding the resistance against your legs. Curl a little bit deeper. Elbows to the side to lift. Feeling that amazing stretch in your back. Curl through the low back and return. One more there. Stretching it out. And pulling it into lift. You'll start to come back, I guess, halfway. Holding on to those legs, squeeze your ball. You're just going to lift your legs up, hold the curl. So the legs just float, pulling through the low belly. You're just slowly walk, rocking on that tailbone. Now the arms are really getting some work. So anchor your armpits in. And then you'll start to just rock back a few inches, no momentum, come back up. And rock back and lift. Working through the with the roundedness you just made. And a little wake up call this morning. And we go back and up for three. Legs heavy for two. And one, taking the feet down, bringing the ball behind the low back. And you'll find a curl here. A little space between you and the ball, so not right up against, but tiny bit of space. As you make that curl again, legs can be either separated or together, your choice. I'm gonna put mine together. And I'm going to put mine a little apart. So I want to be able to pull in as much as I can through here and actually feel better a little bit apart. So you're in that nice C curve. I'm going to take the right arm up to the ear. And return back down. Left arm up. This is a lot of work just in itself. I'm pulling the stomach and ribs into the ball. Staying upright with that upper body and without letting it go into my hip flexors. For four and three, two, one. You'll start to inch your way down a couple inches on the ball, maybe just one inch. Take your arms up, bring it behind your head, support. And then start to let your body come down just a couple inches. Find that extension. Press back into the ball to lift. Good. And lower. 
and on the left. Find what feels best on your neck here. So if you want to go to base of the skull or middle of your head, play around with your hand grip. Nice and slow here. If you're feeling this in the low back, just take it up your spine a bit. So you have the power. Really pulling into that little stomach for three, two, one. Holding it up there. Try to inch the ball a little higher on your back, twisting towards your right side. You'll hold. Taking your left hand to the outside of your knees, little pulses up. And the goal is to keep the ribs against your ball so it's not quick. It's slow, so you still feel that melting sensation into the ball. Lift and pull back and resist for three, two, one. Take it back to center into that other side and you go up and pull in. Good, so you're really pressing the ball with the rib cage. And up, and up. Both hips even on the mat. For five, four, three, two, and one. Take it back to center. Gonna bring the ball a little higher up your back and then open it to the mat. So find that extension. And just bring the shoulder blades together. Big exhale. You'll start to bring it back up, taking it to your forearms and find the ball in the comfy spot to where you can take your arms behind you. We'll lift the right leg up, press into your ball, take the left leg up. Gonna lower the right leg down, back up. Lower left leg down, and back up. Without gripping the leg, you're just kind of free flowing here as you pull the stomach into the ball. Ribs are together, and lift. You can lower it all the way down, and all the way up. For three, and lift, two, and one. Holding it there, both legs dip down halfway, lift it back up. Can you tuck your hips under you? Pull the ribs in. It's very subtle. For four, lift, upper abs, pressing against your ball, three, two, and one. Go ahead and place the feet down, taking the ball away. Bring it between the knees. Lower down to the mat. Feeling the whole spine long. Squeezing your ball in. Gonna round your spine, compress the low back into the mat, and then open it. So it stays on the mat. You're just gonna rock forward and back. While you find that connection, maybe you'll feel some sort of crack or release from all of that opening. For three, and two, one, you'll start to curl up, press your heels into the mat strong, squeeze and lift. Find that connection, pulses into the ball while your hips are really tucked under. And without releasing it every time, so you're still keeping the tension into it. Actually just going a little deeper each time, and that makes the work a lot harder. Can you scoop it and up a little more? For four, three, Two, one, start to peel through that upper back, middle back. Feel each vertebrae, lower back, 
all the way down to the ground, bridging it back up. You'll hold it in that position, releasing the right leg forward. So you're holding that position. You're going to lower the hips down, squeeze your ball, lift it back up. Lower, squeeze and lift. Lots of work for that supporting leg. Down and up. Get it up there for four. Lift. Three. Up. Two. Use those glutes. And one. Reverse. Take it into that other side. Lower. And lift. And up. Up. What are your abdominals doing? Can you pull together more? And up for four. Lift. Three. Pull it in. Two. One. Take the foot down. Round through the spine all the way. Let's release your arms over your head. You'll take the ball. We're going to bring it underneath your tailbone. So you lift your hips a little higher and then start to just roll that around for a bit. Find a release. And finding it underneath your tailbone. You'll start to bring both legs up. Extending the legs out, heels squeeze together, lowering down. Pull the rib cage, lift it up an inch and lower down an inch and lift up. We don't want any arching here. Lower abs are strong for three and two. Hold it down in that low place to where you feel your abs, little circles around and up. Maybe going a little lower if your hips are bothering you and reverse, around and up. Ribs tight against your mat for three, two, one. Take it in. You're now feeling this nice and rounded spine. One leg at a time, down, take it away. You'll bring it on top of your thighs. Hands will press against your ball. Start to curl it up, press and lift as you press against your thighs. Then coming up a little higher and then keep the pressure as you descend. Pressing forward to lift and peel it up. Use those abs to get the ribs off the ground and return. While you're doing that, look at the belly button. Try to untuck your pelvis so that you're in a little more neutral. Squeeze your legs together and return. For three, press to lift and lower. For two, and last one. You'll take the ball up, bring it behind your head and lower the head down. Taking your legs up, find straight legs here. Gonna start to pump the arms for the hundred. Big inhale, big exhale. Can you get the rib cage and head deeper into the ground? Inhale and exhale it out. The hip bones come close together as they pull into the center. Strong pumps there. If you want to go for it, take the legs a little lower. Still keep pulling the rib cage. Hopefully you really start to feel the abdominals separating the toes, find the heels strong together. You're in that Pilates V. Not too turned out, but just a little bit. So lots of pressure. If you're feeling it, you can lower a little more. Pull abdominals in and up. Getting armpits long away from the body. 
maybe a little lower. Can you pull into those deep abdominals? Head is heavy. Rib cage is pressing lower back, pulling into the mat. Two more breaths. That's about as far as I'm gonna go without having to feel my low back. Last one. And take the knees into the chest. Grab onto them. We're gonna take it back between the knees. Arms up to the side and just allowing your legs to go side. Take an inhale there. And exhale, squeeze it in and up to go to the other side. Open. And exhale, lift up and peel over. One more here. Exhale, lift to go over. You'll take the ball underneath your feet, pressing strong into the legs, getting into the backs of the legs again. You're just gonna use your glutes and just lift up, not even an inch, just like half an inch above the ground. Use those together muscles, under butt muscles, and then lower release. Again, press to the ball, use it, Lift up maybe, maybe an inch, maybe not, and then lower. You'll feel it. Press and zip into the center. Squeeze those muscles. Not even a tuck, just right where you are. And lower. One more time. Press and squeeze. Hover off that ground. And release. You'll stretch the legs all the way out to your ball. You're going to take your arms up. Start to curl the head, neck, and shoulders, pressing strong into that ball. Take the right leg up to the ceiling. Left leg is pressing on it. Hold it there. Make sure you're strong in that supporting leg. You're going to circle this leg around and back up so it's very subtle. You're peeling your spine up. You're making sure the hips are in line. That leg is slightly turned out. Very difficult. Low belly connecting. If you want to support the head, you may. As long as you don't flare the ribs and reverse, come out around and up. Press on that bottom leg. Pull into the opposite hip to support you as you go away from center. It's a lot of core. For three, around and up for two. And one, lower down. Press into that ball. We'll lower the head back. Take an inhale here. Exhale, curl it on up. Release the left leg high. Press strong with the right. Circle it in and up. It's really about opposition in this one. I want you to really press both hips down using the belly button and pelvic floor to pull in and up. For two, and one, reverse. Out, around, and up. Good. Can you avoid hiking the hip? Pull up through the center. Maybe that involves pressing the low back strong into the mat. For two, and one, taking it down. You'll take your legs on either side of the ball. So it now is squeezing in between your ankles, flexing those feet, reaching arms away, 
On the exhale, you'll start to come forward. Bring your arms, chin to chest, now let's go for the roll up. Straight on that high diagonal, reach past the feet. Get your stretch. Keeping the arms there, start to lead with the low stomach as you squeeze between the legs, rounding down. Feel each vertebrae before the next. And I think it's better between the ankles, not necessarily, or more like ankles to feet, so that you can really feel the squeeze. Start to come up, head nods forward, no momentum, lift past, reach. Biggest rounded spine you can get as you go forward, seamlessly down. Coming up, nod forward, reach and lift. This should feel nice and easy now because we've done a lot of abdominals to warm up and we've done a lot of curls. Coming forward, nod and lift and reach. Round it down. Now for these last two, I encourage you to just no momentum. Trust yourself, lift, you'll be surprised what you have there. Yes. Curl it down. Last one. Squeeze into the center, reach and lift. All the way down. You'll draw the knees into the chest. Take the ball behind your heels. Hold that squeeze. We're going to start to first bring your hands behind the thighs. Rock it up and then grab onto your ankles. You're in this tight ball. So you can be slightly apart with your knees as you really press with the heels. Rock back and up two inches. Rock back, it's a lot of curl. That low spine to keep the ball and to hold that balance. For three and two. Add one, we're going to go for it, back all the way. Press the heels in, come up. And come back and lift. Round and come up. And this is even harder for me because my mat is sliding against the floor, but I'm still going to go for it. And up for three. Come press. And two. Last one, it feels so strong. You'll take it in front of you. Legs on either side of your mat. And then go ahead and take your arms onto your ball. You'll slide it forward. And slide it back up. Curling round over. Rounding it back. Two more. If you can feel your abdominals pulling it up here. Lift. Last one. And all the way up. You're going to take your left hand behind you as you stretch the right forward and pull up. Same thing right to the center. You're going over that leg, nod the nose to knee, and lift. Just a little rotation as you pull through both hips to press down. For two, lift, one. Good, grab the ball, go on the outside of the foot, reach a little bit deeper, stretch. And returning it back to center, come all the way up, switch arms. Press and start to go forward. And pull back, torso twist, going forward. A little bit of pressure on the ball if you can. For two, 
So I'm rounded here. Last one. Take your ball, stretch to the outside of the foot, press that opposite hip down into the mat. We're gonna take it here in between the hands. Now you're gonna keep it in the left hand as you go behind. So now it's in your opposite hand as you go for saw. You're gonna pulse back one, two, and lift and switch. It comes up to the ceiling, one, two. Lift and switch. And go over. Yeah, the hips are like cement in the mat. So you can't let it peel up. You just have to find it in your body to go deeper from another place. For four, outside of that leg. Three. Two, one. We're gonna take the knees. First, we'll take the knees, bend, squeeze it in. Fingers behind you, lifting those hips up. Looking down the body, squeeze in, tuck under. And just notice if your knees are too far that way. So you want them right underneath. Yeah. And lower back down, squeeze, lift it on up. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Open in the shoulders. Two more there. Lift and scoop. Coming up. Take the head back on this one, take the release. Nodding the chin back forward. You'll come halfway down, going for those tricep presses and resist to the mat. Good, keeping your shoulders more open as you bend. Imagine the clavicle and sternum really open. Yeah, even more so. So don't let the shoulders dip in, open it, yes. For eight, seven, squeeze in six, five, four, yeah, that's it. For two, one, take it down. We'll just stretch it forward over the feet. And we'll take it all the way on your side. Okay, so you're gonna bring it to your about the ribs, maybe a little between your hip and your rib cage. Bottom leg can bend here slightly. I'm gonna take the top leg up, hold it there, and then send it forward. Pull into the belly, send it back. So this is a little bit of like a swinging motion, but it's still controlled. Reach and reach without that shoulder hiking up. Forward and back. We want to pull in here. I found that when I was a little bit too controlled here, wasn't feeling it as much. So you do want to kind of release and let the leg do what it needs. But still thinking about this muscle here, this left oblique. For four. And reach, stretching that leg away from the hip for two. One, holding it back. You're gonna start to lift and lower that leg and lift, lift. Reaching through these muscles strong, up. For eight, seven, can you relax the foot a little bit more? For four. Three, two, one. Keeping this arm forward. You're gonna release the top arm. As the leg comes forward, you're gonna twist now and reach it back and twist and slice and over. You can still press into your ball a little bit and twist 
Now you're getting a little bit more length in the body. Good. For three. And two. One. All the way down. You're just going to take this twist even further as you bend the knees and lower the head to the mat. Breathe through that for one breath. You're coming up. You're going to take the ball away for a moment on your legs. Lift up onto that forearm. Now grab your ball, reach it in that top arm. You're threading it through. Bring it back up and thread it through. And that upper back, we're actually working the arms and you didn't even know it. That bottom arm really working. Here we go for four. And three. I know you want to get off it. Just last one. We start to lower down, lift up and over. Find the stretch here. Major stretch of your side. And then come all the way up. We go for that other side. So you're just on the ball here. Bottom leg bends. I'm going to swing it forward and back. And these first couple are just for you. The mental clarity of what's happening in the body. It's pressure here and here. It's in the right places, this one. All the good spots. And forward and back. Yeah, just let it swing for three, two. Holding it on one, this is pulled in, little pulses up. Length through this hip flexor. Foot relaxed, it's gonna be harder. For five, four, three. Two, hold, take the arm up, twist, go forward, reach back, and extend, and pull in, and back. This one is a bit more targeted for the stomach, like you're wringing out a towel in your abdominals. Ouch. Here we go for three. Two, one, all the way in, bending that knee. Take the twist of the upper body. Big breath out there. And then coming on up, lifting your hips, getting in position, taking a ball. We twist under and lift back. Really take that position, bring it up. And hips stay forward. Body pulls in. We have three and up for two. One. Take it all the way down. Reach over. Taking that glorious stretch. Release on the chest forward. And you're going to go all the way on your stomach here. We're going to bring the ball underneath your stand up. So you want this nice and high to check in first with your back so that you're not kind of too arched. 
Good, and then pull the stomach in, legs are a little apart. We start to bring your arms behind you. And you can find what's good for you. I actually have a flexible back, so I can bring it a little more to the center. Spine is just forward, so you're looking down, you can just listen. As you reach the arms up behind you and hold in that kind of Superman position, and lower the arms down and lift them up and lower and lift. Almost like tucking your chin in a little bit more than you feel like you should. And lift up. Working that mid back, working the lats. For three, two, hold it there. One little pulses up. For four, three, two, pull. Reverse the direction of your palms. Lower down, lift up. Without crunching the back at all. So you're really working from those arms. Tricep area. For five, four, three. Two, hold it up on one, pulses up. Get the base of the arm for four, three, two, one. Take it down. Lift your sternum and chest up. Find this openness, pressing it all the way back and round. Good, maybe take a shoulder roll there and reverse. Then you'll come all the way back down to the stomach. Um, let's do, legs are gonna grab the ball between the ankles. You'll extend the legs down and you'll take your hands behind you. Left ear on the mat, grab your four fingers. Zip your belly button in under you. You're gonna to start to kick the ball three times. One, two, three. Stretch and lift, 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 lift. Squeeze your ball, hold that shape. Into the other ear, to the mat. Bend your elbows, bend your legs for three, two, one. Squeeze and lift. Right. Without letting the hips leave the mat at all, so the hips are really tucked. You press three, two, one, lift up. So those kicks are not a rest moment. Those kicks are active. Using the hamstrings, three, two, one. Yes, it actually took me a long time to learn this exercise for myself in Pilates. So I want you to get it sooner than I did. <laughs> and lift up. So it's about tucking the hips under you to get that resistance for yourself. And lift. Two more here. One, two, three. Kick up. And last one. One, two, three. Reach. You'll press the hands to the mat. Send it all the way back and around quickly just for a minuscule second, and then you'll come back up to hands and knees, tucking through the toes, find a plank position with the feet, squeezing into your ball. You're gonna start to point the toes and flex, and point and really flex. You're squeezing it in. For four, pressing the mat away. Three, two, one. Start to bring your left arm to the mat as you open for side plank. You're balancing, squeeze your ball. Nice big connection. Then bring your arm down by your side, a little lower and little lift. And little lower and little lift. Two more, balance. All the way over, find your mat over to your other side. You start to balance, take your arm off. 
hold that shape. You can always bring the foot a little more forward if you need to, but I encourage you to lower and lift, find the balance. It's gonna make you struggle, make you sweat. Two more there, lower down, lift up, last one. Come all the way. Now tuck the toes, release your ball, find that down dog. Really pressing the heels strong. From that position, we're gonna take a bend to the elbow and press it up. Think about a um, tricep push up here as your elbows reach for the ground. Good, we have four and press three, two, one, start to bring the knees all the way down, round through the spine, walking the hands towards the knees as you really tuck under as much as you can, creating a super rounded back, keeping the pelvis reaching forward as you bring the arms towards you, you'll slowly round up and then taking your ball right between the knees. We're gonna go for another exercise. One more here, we squeeze in. Bring the arms out in front of you, a little higher. But taking that nice big squeeze and then just hinge back. So you're gonna stretch through your thighs, stretching the low back and pull deep through your stomach and return. Same thing, press the pelvis forward, hinge back, chin is in. It's the most, probably the biggest mistake people make here. And you can bring the um, ball a little higher up your thighs. People try to send the head back and then it really just strains your neck. So keep it in, use the stomach, use the ribs and return. We just have two more. Hinge, tuck and then lift. Last one. Uh, take it up, 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 reach and open the arms, roll your shoulders back. You guys are all done.